Humans! You know what day it is. My name is Jaime, giving you exclusive vents on headlines that you didn't even know you needed. And with that said, let's get on with some vents, humans. So I got some funny and weird, strange, out-of-the-wall headlines, and I thought I would just have fun with them today. Um, like I said, some of my comments, like some of the replies might not be factual. Some of these articles are just off the wall, but I just thought I would have fun with them, and away we go. <laughs> They say a tree trimming service in Connecticut, they rescued a seagull, I guess it was caught in some kite string, and these guys had to go out there, and these guys, you know, were out there doing their job, saw the bird cut, and thought they would help it out. And on on a different side of that, they still haven't found the kids that were, you know, trying to make a seagull into a kite. So good luck with that on the law enforcement side. No, I'm just saying, I'm just, they, didn't really, they, they weren't really doing that. But there's a lot of, you know, when we were kids out there, we used to lose a lot of things up in the trees from the kites and people used to throw their shoes up in there. I mean, frisbees, you know, footballs, basketballs would get stuck in a tree. I mean, it, endless things, bats. Like we could throw baseball bats up in there, you get stuck in a tree. <laughs> just be bananas. Or, you know, and you get them pissed off neighbors sometimes wouldn't let you in the yard and go get your shit. You have to wait till your parents get home. You know, they'd be all bummed out. Anyways, in Pennsylvania, some firefighters removed a cake pan from a two-year-old's head. Man, good job. What were they doing, you know, playing with that pan? You know, what were they doing with the, you know, cake pans? I didn't know a cake pan had a hole all the way through it in the first place. Like for a head, you know, to, you know, they're pretty narrow. I wouldn't know how the kid's head would get in there unless it was like some kind of sifting pan or so I don't really bake. So I don't really know, you know, what kind of pan this was. For to you know the kid's head to get it, it had to be a you know pretty big kid head also, you know no no knock on you kid but you probably had a pretty big noggin to get stuck in a cake pan, you know a cake is like a big pan, <laughs> and I love me some cake with and on a rebuttal in a follow up article, the pedo elitists claim they weren't trying to eat the little kid that was stuck in the cake pan, that was their that was their defense they didn't want to <laughs> they didn't want to mess around with that, and in another article. I guess, you know, Madonna, you know, was starting a new energy drink and she's calling it baby blood. <laughs> I'm just having fun with that. But this is some crazy, you know, things going on here. You know, when they talk about um, like those secret societies and like all this dark side of Hollywood or the dark side and not just Hollywood, like the whole entertainment, the whole entertainment side altogether from sports, you know, to like music and yada yada to movies and, and everything else that, you know, in between. And, um, (laughs) like when you see this news article right here, like, you know, like satanic temple to open free abortion clinic in New Mexico, you know, like how many, you know, how many parents are going to prove this? How many humans out there are going to prove this? You know, this is some creepy stuff and everybody's like, Oh, you know, no big deal because, and, and the reason like you get these conspiracies of like, there's these, like, you know, these Satanists out here and these like, you know, underground dark people that, you know, do these secret dark rituals. And all these crazy things out here in the world. This doesn't really help your case. Like <laughs> when you let like, you know, these kind of places exist. And you know, you're like, oh, you want to be equal. But yet you're not all the way equal. It's like you only do like selective equality. You know, people want more equality, but it's like selective equality. Like you're just going to pick what you want to, you know, to accept. And then the, some of the things you accept cause a lot of controversy. Which is probably also the plan. You know, it's like almost I feel like you guys are designed into this like keep us all the way stressed out to like. High levels. We're just like, you know, some people are just like, you know, just get all to them crazy levels of stress. (laughs) But like I said, you get these like, you know, talks of these secret dark societies and these people that like worship Satan that are all like in this part of the entertainment biz. And then you get like the Grammys come out and everybody's talking about that Sam Smith guy that was doing that performance out there in the Grammys. And it looked all super ritualistic and and like super, you know, Satanist, you know, look really Satanist. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, like, I'll just put it out there. I mean, you know, coming out there with all the red lights and all the fire and then also, like, wearing horns, you know, it doesn't help you. And then with all the stuff going around, you know, like, uh, then throwing all those symbols, those, you know, the, like, the stereotypical symbols of, like, all those, like, secret societies, like I said, and things like that. Um, you see other entertainers doing it all the time, which that's the weird coincidence that, you know, that makes me kind of creeped about about it is when you see a lot of, like, like almost all of them, you know, I've talked about this on, on, on previous episodes, like every, it's like every entertainer is like never, it doesn't matter what age or whatever you are. It's like, they're all doing these like symbols, like what, what, why, like what photographer or like, or what manager or, you know, what film group 
you know, makes you, you know, comply to this shit or, or are you doing it just not knowing? That's another thing. Are they doing it just, you know, not, you know, be, I don't think they're doing it unknowingly because I mean, this stuff isn't old. Like, I mean, this shit's been going around for years of like this secret stuff, like this going around, like, and, and a lot of people are starting to expose it. And it's almost like, um, you're not even really, you're not, you're not really like hiding it. Like they're not even like trying to like deny it either. Like, no, we're not, you know, like, and then you got interviews of musicians talking about, you know, you catch weird, um, you know, quotes out of context, maybe, or, you know, catch them at the right time saying a sentence. And, you know, they, like I said, they catch them out of context. They were like, yeah, sell them a soul, you know, all that crazy stuff like that. And then, like I said, you see these weird things they're doing out here, you know, and some of them look like they don't even age. And then you go into those stories about, you know, the rituals that they do to try to keep themselves uh, relevant and famous and, and powerful and rich and keep themselves like beautiful and, and handsome like throughout their whole career so like you know and it's it's really creepy and um like i said when you see these guys doing these kind of performances and things like that this doesn't really help their case at all and then it's almost like they're doing the jedi mind trick in front of us we're like look we see you guys throwing all this satanism shit in front of us and they're like no you don't <laughs> like the tv shows and everything man they're just like all dark like Whatever happened to like the good TV shows? There was some good TV shows out there. And if there still is, like I need to find them. I need to find them like cuz they're really not as easy to find. There's so many streaming services anymore and like all the top shows are all these like crazy shows. They're like <laughs> they're not the most like positive shows. I I got to find them. I know there is. They they got to be out there, but I just got to find them. But it's like the ones they just put, you know, right on the menus and like right in your feed like aren't the most positive you know, positive of selections. They're more like temptation and like scare you and like drama. You know, it's like I want some more like, and it doesn't have to, even like the comedies, like comedies are awesome. I love me some comedies, but the comedies aren't like, you know, feel good comedies. They're like some some weird shit going on in some of these comedies too, but I, I it's just wild. That's, you know, I got to, like I said, you got to do a deep dive if you want to find some like positive type of like, you know, viewing entertainment. But that's just wild. How they just pull that little, you know, Jedi mind trick in front of us. Like, you know, these aren't, these aren't the Satanists that you're looking for. <laughs> we got to keep our eyes out for these humans. And we got to start trying to like, you know, maybe have more of a say-so in this if it's even possible. I don't know. You know, it is, it is television programming. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. My name is Jaime and this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya. Ah! <laughs>